Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Settlement Survival with the Easter Island Story Mode Challenge. Alright, our happiness just bounced back up by a lot, so our ability to procreate should go up. It says we still have terrible fertility because the happiness isn't good enough. I'm hoping things are going to recalculate here a little bit. In the meantime, we are building out some of these little statues to try and reduce this. We'll see exactly what their impact is in just a little bit. I think I want to build the first two. The third might be a little bit too lofty, but we will see what happens with that. We're getting zero births right now, and this will turn into a population crisis at some point if we cannot find a proper solution. I am working on our technology as fast as I can, trying to gather up some of the most important stuff. We have got things like our police stations and our clinics up and running, so we're trying to take care of this as much as we can. We now have access to nurseries. We're going to set both of these to our herb seeds. This has got to be a very high priority. Plants, unfortunately, are not going to be growing during the autumn, so nothing happens with these. We can actually pause these buildings for the moment, and we'll pick them up again once we get to, let's say, February or March. That's probably when I'll be turning these things back on. In the meantime, the next thing that I'm really worried about is whether or not we are going to have enough domestic fuel to survive through the uh, the winter. We're going to have a lot of heating issues, and tents are pretty terrible for all of that, so that's going to be a problem. Let's also make sure we finish off this dang statue. I don't know why the builders are taking their sweet time, but I really would like to have this finished so we can get a little bit of a stress reduction, and ba-boom. All right, we'll let that recalculate for a minute, but we should have a building buff that helps with all of this. Should, at least. Uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'm wrong. We had this turned on, right? Uh, I think we did. Uh, we should have. Okay. Well, stress is looking real bad. Um, real, real bad, actually. Man, gosh, these guys just... Ooh, boy. Anyway, uh, all right. Houses. We're going to go ahead and build out a couple more of them. Just because more efficient housing is still probably a good idea. Uh, we want to probably demolish this tent. I have to remind myself how to actually do that, though. Demolish. There it is. Get rid of this tent. We don't want it anymore. Upgrade it so we can place down roads where they belong with these houses. Thank you. Going to be important. Yes, some citizens are homeless. We got livestock. Did we get turkeys? Ye no, we got alpacas. That's actually even better. Okay, so with alpacas in place, we actually now will be able to start getting our own alpaca wool, which is going to give us another source of of some clothing materials. So let's go under food with some pastures. Where to place them, though? This is the question. Uh, how about... How about we place them over in this general area? We'll get at least one nice big pasture over here, for example. This should be okay. I don't want it to be too big, because I want to make sure I can still place roads around things as needed, which it looks like we can do here. So we'll be okay. Perfect. So let's just go ahead and do something like this. Get the first pasture up and running and have a place for alpacas. Now, at some point, as we finish up some of these statues, what's going to end up happening is uh, new difficulties are going to turn on. That could be natural disasters, but it also could be things like plagues for not only your people, but also for your animals. So we're going to make sure that we place our pastures far apart from each other. And as we get up a large herd of animals, split them across several different areas to make sure that we actually uh, can save them and we don't lose the entire thing. That would really, really suck if that were to happen. Almost done with the medium stone statue. I do see our city stress has gone down. Things have finally recovered a little bit. Happiness and health still not looking great. In fact, now that it's low, we're losing some stamina and some work efficiency, which is terrible. But at least our fertility rate has gone back up to 54%. Let's go ahead and start making the... Here we go. Domestic fuel, all right, so we have the better chopping houses, sawmills anyway. These are better than what we had before. We will at some point need to get some planks up and running. And I really wouldn't mind having a water sawmill placed somewhere if we can. Though, like I said, uh, building out here is a little tricksy with the curves on these shores. It's kind of tough to find a good building spot. There's one right there. And not along there, though. This is kind of it. All right, we found one spot where we can make that work, and that'll be fine for me. Let's go ahead and get started on that. I do want to go for... It's gonna... Well, let's see. Refined fuel, the fuel factory, process timber or coal into refined fuel. That'll be important when we start making things like smelters, kilns, pottery workshops. Not yet. We don't need to worry about cut stone, bridges, lighting, blah, blah, blah. Agriculture, I do need to get reeds. That is important. 
Anything else that jumps out at me as super important right now? Quick reporter, movement speed of logistics workers. It's nice, but not crucial this second. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, I've got three tech points? I haven't been paying attention. Get the reeds, get the knitting, and with that done, let me think. Paper? Mm. We could go for medicinal research um, so we can treat things like cholera a lot faster. You know, the ability to reduce major diseases from being an issue could be nice. Could also go for the reservoir so we can produce large amounts of water. Or I could start going for soap plus apiaries. I like that idea. Now, you might think that soap doesn't do a lot if you don't have a bathhouse. And it does get its best benefit from bathhouses, but people do use soap on their own in small amounts. So as long as I go to a place where I can set up some apiaries, I thought that was under food, but I guess it's not. Uh, there it is. We could place down an apiary over, let's say, here. And this should be okay. Maybe another one over... These guys are chopping down trees pretty fast, and they're not actually regrowing very fast. Did they, did they fix this? Because I've done some research on some strategies uh, from other people. Because, you know, I do my research. It's just, it's just something I do. Um, and it looks to me, at least, like people were generally able to continue uh, growing their trees without too much problem. But maybe that's not the case. Uh, maybe I am wrong on that, and they've since fixed that. But not the distillery bug? I'm just saying. Like, get your priorities straight there. That distillery bug needs to go. Anyway, I'm trying to get some uh, roads over here to all of the gathering huts and stuff to make sure that these are going to be as fast as possible. Did you place the... Is the door seriously in this dumb of a place? Ah, uh, that seems kind of stupid. I'm not sure people can actually get to that hut. They must be able to. Huh. That's kind of weird. Anyway, go ahead and get those roads all set up. Blah, blah, blah. Going into winter now. A little bit scary, a little bit scary. Building buff, we're at minus 20% stress just from having these statues built up at this point. Going for the sawmills, going for the pasture, going for all of this. We can get reeds. We should go ahead and go to our resources with our reed fields. Reed fields, fortunately, have a lot more freedom as far as their placement. So we can do something like this. And this, and this, and this. Four reed fields should be plenty, I think. It should last me for a while. We also are going to have the knitting workshops, which I'll go ahead and place over a couple of them like this. Sure. And then a storage yard. Not a very large one, but at least something over here like this. And this will be mostly for storing the process of the uh, reeds and the ropes and stuff relatively close to our statues. So this should give us plenty of processing ability. I do like that. Not a lot of herbs to go around. We should probably go ahead and do another gather of plants, especially before winter is going to hit. Because that's going to be an issue. We've got plenty of laborers who can go around and do things like this right now. So frankly, at this point, let's just go ahead and grab literally everything we can. During the winter, that'll be a good opportunity to maybe go chop down some more trees or something. I don't know. It's getting really cold now and people are starting to have issues. Because tents. They're, just, they're, they're terrible, 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 stupid things. We don't like tents. I don't know why anyone has tents. Why did you guys build tents? You guys decided to build freaking giganto Easter Island tiki statue things, Maui statues, but did you guys want to get proper housing first? No! That apparently was too much to ask for! Brilliant! Really? No, seriously, brilliant! Hey, let's cancel actually um, demolishing these for a moment. Never mind, we don't need to do that. We can go over here for now. I'd rather just build up some proper houses rather than demolish it in case someone gets left homeless because that would be pretty bad for everyone involved, wouldn't it? Okay, got that. So our happiness has gone up. Fertility rate's at 55%. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I've got some children being born. Notice, by the way, we need the clay to get the reed fields. That's why it was more important to get the sand pits up and running first, which is what we've done now. So technically, we are following what I think is an intelligent build order. Semi-intelligent. As intelligent as one might expect from someone like me. How's that? Is that, is that generous enough? You guys okay with that? Should be. All right, get this going. Blue, 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 blue. And roads over here, too. And boom. Okay. Yeah, we need a lot more clay. Um, we are not producing enough fuel. We obviously aren't having enough clothes. I'm going to go ahead and switch these back to flax. Because I am now anticipating that we are going to have the problem where I need linen. So we'll do this for the moment. Uh, over here, we need alpacas. So this should send all my animals over here, whatever are available. 
Uh, I don't know what the current number is. We had tamed some. I don't know where they are, though, but they should arrive. There's one. Okay, so they'll start growing on their own. That's going to give me some alpaca wool, which I can use in very small amounts to try and get some clothes. Do we have any other resources at all? No wool. I have a tiny bit of alpaca wool, so I can turn you back on. Linen is what I need. None of that's available. Okay. Yeah, closing is going to be an issue. Doing okay on tools, doing okay on alcohol. The green numbers here should tell me we're doing okay on some things. Water is currently on track to become a major problem. Clean water would be a good way to solve some of that, uh, or we could just place down some more wells. And I'll be honest, I'm kind of tempted to say we should just go ahead and place down some more wells. At least for the time being. Maybe we get rid of these at some point, but let's have some extra water workers going and gathering up water and dropping it somewhere, anywhere. I do not want to run out of this. We're a little bit lower on food than I would like to, frankly, but we're working on it. Yes, yes, I know you guys want houses. I'm working on it. I have so many builders. Why are things building so gosh dang slowly? I mean, you guys aren't finished with the dang apiaries and stuff. This is embarrassing for everyone. What's wrong with you? Eh, whatever. They're working on the knitting workshops. They're working on the sawmill. I'll go ahead and prioritize that. We can start producing some reeds over here, so that's now going to be a thing officially. Over here, um, I have forgotten how you... Okay, you can choose what items we're going to have. Foods? No. No foods at all. Beverages? No. No. Raw materials. I'm okay with raw materials. Construction materials? No ore, no clothing, no trade goods, no fuel, no industrial fuel, no tools, no alcohol. All right, so hopefully things like reeds and stuff are gonna get dropped off over here in a nice, sensible location. Start producing a bit more water there. Another tech point is available. So what do we wanna prioritize then, um, based on what I was just saying, which I've probably already forgotten. Hum, 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 hum. Weaving for the textiles? Maybe. I'm leaning toward maybe yes. Let's go ahead and get the weaving up and running. We won't be able to do much with it, but I can place down a textile water mill probably over here. Whoop. There's a single spot right here that will work. Excellent. That will start taking flax, which we have to grow. It's going to be a little bit. And then we'll be able to start making some cloth, which I can use to make some additional clothing. So one tailor shop set up based on alpaca wool and another one set up based on the linen. I think. I hope. I'm praying that that's going to work. It is currently February of year two. Still got a ways to go on a lot of this stuff. Water sawmills not building all that fast. Gosh dang, what is wrong with these people? Why aren't they going better than this? Uh, flax could also make ropes, but I would really rather not do that. Uh, I'd rather save all the flax for linen for clothing, because I think we're going to need that. We had seven births last season. Okay, hey, progress. We're actually having babbies. Um, what else do we need? It is going to be warming up pretty soon. Let's go ahead and start getting a lot more iron and a lot more stone. And are there any plants to gather? There are a handful here and there. We can gather some of this up. I don't anticipate it's going to be much, though. And as far as trees, let's clear this area out because I'm probably going to be building out over here at some point. Okay. A lot more reeds getting built up. They're prioritizing all the wrong things. Now, I want to get some planks. Why do I want to get some planks? Because uh, I know from, you know, just like my foresight powers, uh, that once we build our first stone statue, we're gonna have an event. These things are gonna pop up. Choices have to be made. And to make a good choice with this, I need to have 20 planks on hand. So I'm gonna make 20 of these, and then after that's done, we'll swap this back over to some more domestic fuel so we can keep on top of that. This should get better as time goes on. Now the apiary is gonna be producing beeswax. We're not interested in honey for food, tempting though that may be. Same down over here. I just want the ability to make soap. Very important we can do that. We want to make rope. Absolutely. You need to make reeds. You need to make reeds. All right, we're up to 59 workers. It is now going into March. Now is the time to go ahead and turn all these farms back on. So we're going to do that. Now I'm a little bit worried about whether or not I'm going to have enough food in our current setup. Uh, I'm going to swap you back over to Flax as well, at least temporarily. Let's see how this goes. We should have enough food to kind of keep us float for a bit, but I might need to set down some more farms at some point. Herb reserves are low. Yeah, fair enough. Let's go ahead and turn these things back on. Why do we have no... Oh, I've got not enough workers. No! Okay. We've overdone it a little bit. 
Uh, I need more workers. Need more workers. Where can I get more workers? Um, easy answer. We could subtract at least a couple of builders. Because if we don't have enough workers to build, uh, work new buildings, then we won't be building new buildings. So this helps a little bit. Let's go ahead and make sure someone is assigned to both of these. And then now that we're producing planks, I'm not, I'm gonna go ahead and allow... I actually... Okay, do not hit the cancel button on this, by the way, because you actually will demolish this and you lose the scenario. You can't, like, actually redo it. I didn't mean to prioritize. I want to turn off the prioritize, but okay. We'll, uh, we'll go with it. We'll go with it for the moment. Still only one alpaca. I really hope you guys can capture some more. Would you mind doing that? Maybe? A little bit? I don't know. Anyway. Got a little bit of clothing. Most resources here, for the most part, are doing okay. People are going to go around and do their thing. What's going on over here? No workers are assigned. So we turned on a farm without enough workers, huh? Let's go ahead and fix that. Only got two spares at the moment. That's a little dangerous. Because if enough people die, we may not have enough workers to keep everything up and running. That would obviously be an issue. But there's not much I can do about it unless we can make sure our fertility rate stays nice and high. Now, we are keeping okay at a pretty decent amount of, uh, of kids, right? We've got 62 kids and 40 students right now. This had dropped down to a much lower number, so we're actually getting back on par with where we need to be. I like that. Processing, you know, I really want to be getting the soap workshop, but if we don't have enough people to work this, is that going to do me any good? Hmm. Hmm. Well, we should still be placing it whether I actually do anything with it right now might be a slightly different question, but we will see. How are we doing on the whole plank thing? Still don't have any? You're kidding me. I still don't have any planks at all? Can you guys please make some planks? It says I got five. Now I got 15. There we go. Just need 20. There's another tech point. Okay. So, medicine? No. Pottery? No. Quarries and mining? Tempting. We'll need that at some point soon. Not yet. Material recycling? No. Processing? Won't do me much good right now. Logistics, I think we hold off on that. So the next thing I think I'm going to work on to make sure that we don't have any problems with uh, water is to get clean water. Followed by probably compost, farm, and then farming efficiency so we can max out how much uh, food we can start producing. I think that might be a good call. Reservoir has to be placed near the water, obviously. Uh, best place to do that probably is going to be over here, actually which I hate to do, because uh, it's kind of far away from the rest of the base, but I need to be able to produce water, and I don't think that shoreline is going to be very good for me in the long term. So we'll do this, and then I'm going to place down a small storage yard over here, and this is mainly going to be for placing just water so I can keep going. As long as there's a water source, I think people will drop whatever they're doing if they're really dying of thirst and go get some water. So we'll be okay. Let's uh, get the roads built out over... Whoa, that's kind of weird. Over here. There we go. Okay. So we're working on that whole stone thing, huh? I need a lot more lumber. I need a lot of ropes. How many ropes are you guys making? Not enough. 999 is kind of a lot of ropes. <laughs> kind of a lot! I wonder how many herbs we're going to be able to make this particular year. Hopefully a lot. I mean, I would like to think so. Um, we do have the fertile soil bonus, so that's helpful. Having educated workers, of course, is important because it definitely helps you to um, uh, be more efficient with all of your people. Technically speaking, setting down another school would be very tempting. In fact, I think I might do that. Am I, am I overdoing it if I place down another school? I don't think so. I think that if we have this many kids, getting more in there would be a good idea. And I really do need to get this soap up and running now. Because I'm watching the health continue to go down. Fertility rate is still somewhat manageable. We're doing okay-ish. But it's, it's gonna struggle. It's gonna be an issue. We should have enough planks by now. Absolutely we do. Okay, swap this over to domestic fuel. Forget the planks for a little bit. Now we'll make more of this and we'll be fine. How much domestic fuel do we need? I don't know, like 800. After that, stop. Because I don't want to use up all of my lumber making fuel if it turns out we don't need more. I need sand. Ah, yes. Okay, let's swap this over to sand. I kind of forgot reservoirs need that. You, by the way, are not here for storing food. You're here for storing beverages, and that's pretty much it. Just water. Please stop doing all this. 
There are some tricks out there, by the way, little things that you can do. For example, I could place down, let's say, a storage yard right here, and then let everyone bring all the stone and iron I have been gathering right here, Then, uh, so they gather it up really fast, then cancel or destroy the storage yard, and now everyone just brings it back and forth. Rather than coming out here, getting a little bit, then going all the way back home, they just gather everything up really quick and then just make a bunch of trips. That can be a thing. Over here in the textile water mill, guess what we need? Linen! So once some is actually grown, which admittedly is going to be a little while, uh, we can start doing something with that. Placing down roads, kind of down along this way, and a boom. Okay, perfect. All right, we're getting through it. Can I speed this up any further? No. Ten times speed appears to be the only bit we can get. We're getting a handful more laborers, so right now our population's kind of getting where it needs to be. Food is um, getting a lot lower. Yeah, yeah, really worried about that. Herbs, uh, really in bad shape. You know, if we have some extra laborers, let's go ahead and start gathering up some of the local food and herbs. Whatever you can get your hands on. I'm not picky. doesn't matter. Just get everything. We're going to try for everything anyway. If I can get this dang efficiency up, this would be pretty good. Woo! There's a thunderstorm outside right now. These trees have definitely been rebalanced since some people wrote some of their own guides on how to do the scenario. Look how slowly these are all growing right now. Look how many bison there are! God's sake. Maybe we should just, like, stop with the hunter's huts over here and just move them. We're getting a lot of turkey and stuff. Like, they're actually producing a pretty good amount of goods. You know, if we're worried about food, maybe we could just go ahead and place down... Wait, can I not place... No, I can place a hunter's hut. Perfect. Yeah, let's, um, let's place down another hunter's hut over in this general area. Because there's a load of animals, and this is another way of me getting a pretty good amount of food. Okay. Good. All looking okay so far. So how do we think we're doing overall in this scenario? I know there's more I want to do, like, as far as getting some houses and stuff, and that'd be helpful for things like happiness and health and blah, blah, blah. But, um, yeah, I'm a little worried about whether I can keep affording this. It costs a lot of resources. Uh, is this in range? Okay, this is no longer in range of things like the clinic. We're actually already out of range of the police station. Dang it. Um, go ahead and place down a couple more houses over here then instead. I do want to start getting some of these tents out of here. Slowly making progress on the stone statue. Very slowly. You can get at least one more builder set up in each of these. So let's go ahead and do that, boosting it up to 20 builders now. There's a tech point. Do we continue down with things like composting and farming efficiency? Do we commit to that route? Because once you commit it, it's kind of hard to get away from it. The alternative is to get the bathhouse up and running to improve health. And actually, since health is such an issue... Yeah, let's get the bathhouse first. Oh, wait. Did I need cut stone first? I did. Dang it. It warned me about this, and I didn't listen to it. So we have to get cut stone, which means I have to get a masonry. Ah, okay, that was a wasted tech point. I shouldn't have done that. Oops. But I'm hoping it's not going to come back to bite me in a major way. I'm hoping we're going to be all right. We got some beeswax. We're not producing any soap. Let's go ahead and fix that. Make some soap. No, don't don't worry about blubber and stuff. That's not a thing. Beeswax only, please. Make soap. Let people get their hygiene figured out. Boost them up. Make them healthy. Please and thank you oh so very much. Now, the problem with apiaries is they really prefer to be around a bunch of mature trees. So I have to tell you guys to stop felling trees. And let's see if we can actually grow any for a bit. Um, I'm a little bit worried about whether or not we're going to be able to grow these fast enough. You're okay-ish, but let's let's stop felling trees there, too. You're okay. You keep doing what you're doing. We can chop down a few trees in a few jungly areas if I need to. No births occurred last season, despite the fact that we have a reasonable enough fertility rate, but okay. Still only one alpaca, which isn't getting me very far, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, we still can't make any rough clothes at all. You guys have a tiny bit of alpaca wool? No, you got nothing. We got nothing. We can make no clothes whatsoever until we get this whole this whole flax thing figured out. But we're currently harvesting. So that means down over here, people should start working at the textile water mills now. So that's a thing at least. All right. How are we doing on rope? We are producing like 100 a year. I mean, that's not going to be enough, but like it's something. We'll, we'll take what I can get. Um, 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 I feel like I should be doing more right now. We're harvesting a fair bit of food. It's not as much as I might have liked, if I'm honest. I 
feel like we ought to be up to about 10,000 by now. We are still only just now harvesting things like the peas, though, so maybe that's going to be okay. We could get a couple more laborers over here at the Hunter's Hut. There's plenty of animals to go hunting. And if you got some extra people, just go ahead and get some more plants. Including those herbs. How many herbs are we getting? I see that we just got a chunk. We have a hundred now. Whoa! That's a loud thunderstorm. Good lord, that actually just scared me. Okay. Anyway, we're producing at least a couple hundred of these herbs per nursery right now. Which isn't bad. I could probably place another nursery up over here. I think I can fit it. Yes, if I go sideways like this. Feels bad, man, but if that's the best I can do, then so be it. It lets me get the most herbs for the least amount of labor invested. And that's going to have to be okay for the moment. Can't do anything with it for a little while, but there you go. Let's go ahead and turn off all these farms since they are clearly finished. Especially pumpkins. Pumpkins grow fairly quick. Uh, let's see. Six per grid. Larger harvest periods, but I'd rather swap this over to peas because we have the time. We might as well get the largest harvest possible since we only get one per year anyway. Go ahead and turn all of that off. We're still harvesting some of this agave. How are we doing as far as stockpiling agave? We got 2,000 at the moment. So we should probably swap off at least some of the agave, like you, for example, and also get more beans. Okay. How many flax do we have? 1,300? That should be enough to keep you going for a good long while. I will assign someone else to also work at the textiles. Now, one problem I'm going to run into here is people are running long distances uh, to get their materials, and we really should be getting some warehouses. We really should. But I'm not confident I've got the time for that. We need to get the cut stone. That was the thing we already talked about, so let's go ahead and do that next. That's going to let me get the bathhouse so we can solve our health issues. So under city services, bathhouse. There it is. All right. So this increases health for everyone in a radius. Perfect. This is what I'm looking for. Exactly something like this. Uh, if we place it as far over to the left as possible, we capture as many tents over here as we can. And then we do something similar right over here. Okay. Okay. I do want to demolish these tents. I don't like them. So I can get some proper roads through some of here, if possible. Mm, actually, the placement of a lot of this is kind of unfortunate. It's not great. We're not going to get a very nice neighborhood over here. Maybe it doesn't matter too much. Let's go ahead and place down at least a couple more of the houses, though. Um, this is also within the market, but we had talked about needed to do something more like this, I guess. Sure. And what I may have to do at some point is get rid of this gathering hut and this forester's hut and move them further off into the jungle. And I think that'll be okay. Water is still looking really bad. That's because we're not producing any over here because once again, I forgot this existed. Gosh dang it. Oh, reservoirs, you are a cruel mistress. You joke with me. You toy with my feelings. All right, cut stone, blah, blah, blah. We need to go to processing and we need to get a masonry workshop. Which is very small, very teeny, very teeny little building right over here. Uh, where could I fit it? Can I fit it anywhere already convenient? Not really, but this'll do. Sure, it's next to crafting materials. Get a masonry workshop so we can get some cut stone so I can place down these bathhouses. Yeah? Also, we need linen for the bathhouses, but I'm already working on that. We've produced 61 so far this year. That'll have to be good enough. We can turn this off. That gets me a few more workers. Still really having problems with water. I think we have to place down another reservoir. Sure. Let's do that. This time, let's ideally not forget it exists. Keep that water coming, guys. Keep it coming. We got some medicine and stuff. This is all looking fine. How are we doing as far as soap? We produced 25 this year. It's not a lot, but it's something. How are we doing on fuel? Not great. A lot of people are starting to feel a little on the cold side. We should have enough raw materials. That shouldn't be the issue. Um, let me get rid of some trees over here. Fuel reserves are low. Yeah, duly noted. I think the biggest issue that I've got right now is kind of a lack of a proper logistics network to make sure that we are delivering resources where they need to go. 
And this is where if I could get a proper storage facility, that would be very, very valuable to me. That said, over the winter, it would also be amazing to get the compost farms and farming efficiencies so we can ensure we don't have any food issues for the rest of the game. But if I'm not able to get on top of uh, my production and people are wasting a lot of time, then that in and of itself is also a problem. Yeah, I think we have to get, I think we have to be getting things like warehouses. That also requires some stone, not cut stone. I was thinking for a second it was gonna require the cut stone, but it does not, so that's fine. Housing, getting through all of that, no problem. Let's get these roads up, blah, blah, blah. A lot of cold people, hopefully they live. We are not looking great on our fertility, but our health has improved, 68%. Not a ton of kids. 60 kids are currently in school though, so we're educating our populace as much as I can. If we feel like we have a lot of extra laborers, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get some additional researchers. We'll have to come back to a lot of that later though. I'm a little bit worried about our current situation. We're, we're kind of surviving, um, but water is just going so unbelievably fast. It, it's kind of insane to me how much water is being taken up. We could reduce how much of the alcohol we are producing, and that would help. So I'm going to go ahead and disable that since I have 1,000. We're going to let ourselves build up a larger stockpile. And if I need to build up more of these uh, wells, well, I can do that. We'll make it work. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time on Easter Island.